Guys, I've been slacking on posting YouTube videos, and it was called to my attention this morning when I got an email from YouTube saying, Richie, it's been 56 days since you posted a video. What is wrong with you? So I'm here to explain myself and also say hello to everybody and say I miss you guys. And obviously, I want to post more stuff on YouTube. And the reason I haven't is because I've been working like an animal doing crazy stuff here that was top secret for a long time. Now, most of it is no longer top secret. Some of it's still top secret. But uh, I can talk about the stuff that is announced, released, and if maybe people on YouTube aren't aware of any of this stuff, I'll talk about it, and let's have a little chat. It's a simple talking to the camera video. So let's, let's talk about Blue Oyster Cult land first. Blue Oyster Cult has kept me very busy. Uh... Not only are we still playing shows, I'm about to leave to go to the airport in, uh, in a half hour, uh, but we also had some fun production projects to do, uh, one of which was already released. It's the 50th anniversary live show. We did a DVD, Blu-ray, CD, vinyl, streaming kind of thing, stereo and surround sound, and we mixed that and edited that right here. And that's the band's manager, Steve Shank, and I. So that's out already, and that's an ongoing project. I won't say anything more about that, but you could probably guess what that means. But uh, So if you've seen that, great. If you haven't, go check it out. It was a cool show. We had Albert Bouchard, the original drummer of Blue Oyster Cult, and who also sang and wrote a lot of songs, and he was there for for those shows. And I love doing stuff with with Albert. That's awesome. And, and in the, also in the midst of all this, I did a song with Albert. We did a song called uh, Mountain of Madness that's on his uh, third part of the Imaginos trilogy albums that he was doing, and that came out really good, and he did a video for it. So how cool is that? So that was one part of that. Then uh, Blue Oyster Cult is coming out with a new album soon called Ghost Stories. Now, uh, Ghost Stories is an album made up of songs that were recorded by the band in the late 70s, early 80s, by their sound engineer, uh, George Duranius. And he did a great job, but obviously over time, tapes degrade and things need to be updated a little bit to for, for, a, for a current release. So that's what we did. Uh, we used AI unmixing technology to separate the layers, clean up what we could, update some sounds, flesh some things out. That was a really fun project, and that's coming out soon. One song has been released already, a song called So Supernatural, and we even did a video for that. Now, the video was pretty fun because when all this stuff happened with the Blue Oyster Cult production and all the John Anderson things that I'm going to talk about in a few seconds, uh, I had to put the 3D animation to the side. Now, I was doing 3D animation because I've written and recorded a musical that I'm going to do in 3D animation. The music's done. But I was slowly teaching myself the 3D animation and getting a little better at it as I went, but I had to put that to the side. Well, doing the So Supernatural video got me back into that, and the cool thing was I got to see how the technology has progressed since I had to put it down, and things have gotten way faster way easier to do, and the results have gotten better. So now I'm looking at the stuff I've already done in 3D animation for the musical, and I'm saying, wow, I could probably do that better and faster now. So the good news about that is when I do go back to the animated musical, I'll I will be equipped with the, the stuff I learned on So Supernatural, and technology will have gotten even quicker by then. So... That's still going to happen. I mean, I did all this work for it. It's I'm very proud of the music, and I I'm I can't wait to show it to you. So that's going to happen. I had to put it to the side for good reason, but I'm still committed to it. Uh, and, you know, aside from ghost stories and the video, there's also, um, there's also Blue Oyster Cult shows happening this year, and I'm doing them. So, I, you know, a lot of people have been asking me, you know, what, are you going to leave Blue Oyster Cult? No, no, I'm Blue Oyster Cult is my family. I'm doing the Blue Oyster Cult shows. Now, some of them are going to be maybe nearish to some of the John Anderson shows, but that's not going to be a problem. That's been worked out. 
uh, so I can do them both. Now, okay, so let's talk about the big announcement that we just made is that we're doing another John Anderson and the Band Geeks tour in the summer. So that's really cool. The tour dates are on my website. They're on John's website. They're on social media. Now, I've gotten a lot of emails in the last few days and, and messages on social media. Look, I posted everything I can post. All the information I have is the information you have. So I love the enthusiasm, but uh, anything, as soon as I get info, I'm going to give it to you guys. That's that's how it is. Um, so I don't know when certain venues are going to put their tickets on sale. I don't know what any future legs are going to be because nothing's been, like all, all of this is still, you know, stuff I can't talk about. That's all I'm going to say. Uh, so just know that as soon as I get information, you'll get the information. All right? And yeah, that's that was part of the big announcement. But the other part of the big announcement that is crazy to even say is that the band geeks and I are making an album with John Anderson. Actually, we've already made the album. The album's done. I finished tracking it yesterday. Um, so if you hear my voice is a little shot, it's because uh, I was doing background vocals <laughs> all day. But yeah, that that's an that was just an incredible experience. I don't want to talk too much about it because I want to wait till the release gets closer. But just want to let you know that is a real thing, and that is new music, original music. It's what a, a tremendous honor to be able to do this record with John. And uh, so yeah, that that just that's that's a real thing, and I I, I can't believe it's a real thing. It's crazy. Uh, so another thing that a lot of people ask is. When are you going to do more Band Geek videos? I would love to do more Band Geek videos, and as soon as time permits, we definitely will. We have a blast coming here with our friends and playing these songs. We love it, so we're going to do more of those. So uh, it's just every single day, every hour of every day has had some kind of project here scheduled, whether it's tour planning or some kind of you know recording with the guys or post-production, video editing, making music videos, mixing. It's its crazy over here. But I'm not complaining. It's all good stuff. It's just pretty jam-packed. Uh, it's an exciting time, and I can't wait to get on the road. The tour starts May 30th, but right now, in about 15 minutes, I'm going to go to the airport to go play a Blue Oyster Cult show in the Portland area. So Busy, 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 but all good stuff. I'm grateful for being busy. I just wanted to say hi to you guys and keep you updated and let you know that I'm going to make video content as soon as I can because it's one of my favorite things to do. And thanks, guys. I uh, hope to see you out on the road at one of the gigs. And I can't wait for you to hear the stuff we've been working on. It's, I mean, it's just, it's nuts. This is a crazy time. Anyway, I'll see you soon. Thanks, guys.